Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Today what we're going to take a look at on our UCM is trunks, routes, and call patterns. Call patterns are they are very important, but I believe sometimes they are also very confusing. So let's hop right into it. We're going to log into our UCM. Now, what a trunk is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to send calls and receive calls from outside of your local UCM. So we're going to go over to extension slash trunk and we're not going to do voice over IP trunks in this video. That's going to be a future video. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on an analog trunk and you have to you remember that our 6204 has four FXO ports. So we're just going to create a trunk that has one of our FXO ports. We're going to call this uh, copper trunk. We're going to leave everything else default and we're going to go ahead and click save and apply. That's going to reload the configuration on our UCM and then we're going to be able to continue. So now it's important to remember that this on an inbound route is specific to copper the way that this is set up or to your FXO ports. When you do a SIP trunk you do have to have uh, an incoming call pattern and that call pattern, the one that I use looks like this, and that just says accept all inbound calls. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our inbound route. And you can see that we only have the analog copper trunk. So we're going to go ahead and click add. And what we're going to do is we're not going to set a call pattern because it's going to just take all incoming calls. We are we are going to select a default destination down here and we're going to make it an extension and we're just going to make it extension 100 so when the call comes or 1000 so when the call comes in over that trunk it is going to automatically ring extension 1000 and it's going to do that all the time because we have no time conditions we're going to get into all that here at some point but right now we're just going to make it so it rings all the time extension 1000 Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to outbound routes, and we're going to add a route. And we're going to add a route, and we're going to call this um, outbound, or we're going to call this, what we're going to do is we're going to call this local seven digit. Okay, so now we have to create a call pattern. So you can see um, that if you mouse over the pattern, there that it tells you how to how to build the patterns so I kind of summarize that right here and it's gonna automatically remember it's automatically gonna put that underscore so we don't have to do that so what we want to do is we want to use call patterns because we can do all sorts of things with call patterns we can restrict calls we can send calls out certain trunks we can uh, look for certain characters and or uh, numbers and then strip them off and do all kinds of things this specific pattern that we are gonna do this is gonna be a local seven digit uh, call pattern um, and so what we're gonna do is in the US we've got 10 digits that we can dial and a lot of places you have to dial the 10 digits now there's still some places in the country that allow seven digit dial well we're putting this system in in a place that allows seven digit dial so we want those folks to still be able to dial seven digits instead of having to dial the 309 so what we're gonna do is we're going to look at first of all our uh, little cheat sheet here so in a call pattern a dial pattern uh, the X represents any digit from 0 to 9 a Z represents any digit 1 to 9 an N represents any digit from 2 to 9 period is a wild card that matches one or more characters and an exclamation point is a wild card that matches zero or more characters immediately so um, here you can see this is a wild card that matches zero or more characters from zero to nine immediately. All right, so what does a seven digit uh, pattern look like? This is what the seven digit pattern is gonna look like 
um, it's going to be like this. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that is going to be it. Now, I say that, um, but that's not really it. Well, it depends. Privilege level, we're going to set to internal because that's where we have the privilege level on our phones or on our extensions set up. But uh, down here, this is where we get to choose the trunk. So we select the trunk. Now, we can strip or we can prepend. So let's say that this is it, that the telephone company is only expecting seven digits from us. We're going to click Save, and we're going to be done. We are going to have a pattern that matches seven, uh, seven numbers, and we're going to automatically send that to the telephone company. They're going to know what to do with it. They are going to connect that call. But let's say that the telephone company actually is forcing 10-digit dialing, and you're in a certain area code, they're forcing that, but you you never knew that, right? So you put this new system in, and you set up your awesome call pattern, and you're getting errors on your on your call. It's telling you you've got you got to dial ten digits. How do you fix that? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this call pattern. We're going to come down here, and so let's say that this happens in the 309 area code, which is where I'm at. So let's say that. My users are used to seven digits, but the telephone company is actually making me dial 10. What I can do is I can prepend every call with 309. And so what's going to happen now is a user is going to pick up the phone. They're going to dial, you know, 555-1212. The phone system, the UCM, when it sends it out to the telephone company, is actually going to prepend 309. So actually, let's use this as a real world example. So right now, our mask or our pattern, I'm sorry, is set up as XXX, XXXX, which would match 4460048, which is my office number, right? But if the telephone company is actually expecting to see 10 numbers come across, we're going to, in the system, we added that prepend. So what is going to happen is when it gets sent to the telephone company, it's going to prepend that 309 and then whatever digits you dial. So when that is dialed, it's actually going to send that to the telephone company. So that's how you can prepend those things. You can also strip if you have to. So um, you could set up a pattern where, and we'll do it real quick. So let's say that you want um, for anybody to dial 10 digits, which, which I guess could be um, considered long distance. Let's say that you want somebody to, to dial a, a number. So we're going to call this uh, long distance. And our pattern is going to be, let's see, let's formulate our pattern here. So we're just going to do kind of a kind of a generic one. So we're just going to stick in, we're going to stick in just 10 X's. Um, but if you want people to have to dial, let's say they have to dial 9 to do long distance. What we're going to do is we're going to do 9, and then we're going to do 10 X's. That's a 10-digit number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we're going to scroll down. We're going to select our trunk, and we are going to strip one character off the front. See what I did there? So we're going to click Save and Apply. Now, these are very simplistic examples of patterns. But what's going to happen is the, the UCM is going to recognize that we dialed 9 and then 10 digits. So what it's going to do, and this, is, this could be a, a bad example uh, because maybe you have to dial 1 as well besides just 
the 10 digits. But what this is going to do is when you dial 9 and then those 10 digits, before it sends it to the telephone company, it's going to strip off that one digit in the front. I know that this seems like it's a confusing uh, topic, but you just have to get in there and mess around and understand and play around with it. That's how you're going to learn it. Formulate your dial patterns. Now, uh, I can uh, answer any questions you have about those dial patterns. So you can email me. Um, I, uh, or you can put them in the comments down below and we'll see as a group if we can figure out these, these call slash dial patterns. But that's it for this video. You uh, get in there, play around with your trunks. You're going to need to know a little bit more about that as we proceed along. So that's it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need consulting, IT consulting for voice over IP, networking, uh, storage, security, and you want those best practices, go to h5llc.com down there. Fill out the contact form and somebody will get with you as soon as possible. We do have that Discord channel if you want to talk to us live. The link is down there. If you want to buy any of the gear that you see here on the channel, we do have the Amazon affiliate link down there. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll see you in the next video.